Don't talk about my hair. Do you look at it? We all finished secondary school thinking the only way we can get admission into university is if we write ITME or a bunch of other exams. Just when we think we're finally free from the shackles of work and a bunch of other exams, then we face this. I'm here to tell you today that there's another option, another choice, a second chance, job something else that is not your choice, that is not your traditional ultimate process. This option is called Jibreel. So today's video is going to be about Jibreel and everything you need to know about it. Hi, hello, my name is Adela, if you didn't know, and I just completed the Jibreel program like some days ago. I got this comment, I will insert it here telling me to make a video about the JPEG entrance exam and I figured like why don't I just make a video explaining the entire JPEG program. So that's what this video is going to be about. If you're considering partaking in this program, get your notes and make sure you watch this video till the end. Subscribe to my channel and give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you see me looking down it's because I have my notes here on my laptop and also, this is my first sit-down video ever, so if I'm stuttering or stammering or I keep looking around or I'm not acting like a professional, it's because it's like my first sit-down video ever. <coughs> GVEP stands for Joint University's Preliminary Examination Board. It is an advanced level program that allows students to get admission into universities without following the traditional ultimate process. So basically, in simpler terms, JPEP is a program where you are taught for one year and at the end of the year, you write an exam that can guarantee you admission into some level, like straight up, direct entry. Okay, so like JPEP is like an institution on its own, like an independent institution that collaborates with other universities. So you register at whichever university you choose to. I did Mount as University of Lagos, that you know, like, and I have to secure accommodation around that area. So whatever university you choose to write JPEG at is where you hold your lectures. I found out about JPEG through my sister, my older sister. She did jam, but then there was a strike period, so my daddy encouraged her to do JPEG. She did JPEG graduation to turn level and when school resumes she's going to turn her level now so i graduated school at the age of 14 secondary school i graduated secondary school at the age of 14 i'm 15 right now and i always kind of knew that i was not going to do i didn't write jam at all i always knew i was not going to write jam i was not going to do ultimate because of my age so i just decided to do prepare like my sister my results are not out yet but once they're out if i pass if i'm proud of my results i'll let you guys know that i my sister did all the registration for me. I did my own university in Lagos. Um, I know that to register for JPEG, you have to have at least credits. Five in your five minutes of the that's math, English, and whatever three subjects you did. I'm an art student, so that means math, English, literature, government, and Islamic studies. I don't know much about the registration process, so I'll leave a link below on articles that I found when I was in my registration and the official JPEG website. The prices differ depending on what university you choose to register at. Again, I did at University of Lagos and let me tell you, it was expensive. Like it was not, it was actually expensive. I would advise you to take it actually like very seriously. Now to the entrance exam, which is the main reason I'm actually making this video. If you are writing the web at the university, you have to do an entrance exam basically because they have like a lot of students and they want to select between the students. So students who pass the entrance exam actually get to be taught for that one year before they write their actual prep and get admission. So the entrance exam is I mean, I didn't write the entrance exam because we're not much that was what they told me why we didn't write. I bought I prepared for it. I didn't write it and the version I did was CBT and according to my sister who did write entrance exam she said you only need about 40% to pass and I remember I remember it being significantly easy like government was easy, literature was easy, English was easy it was just math I had problem with and I've always had problems with math and I don't remember my exact score in this um, entrance exam practice that I did 
or I know I go above forty percent. I'm just saying, um, entrance exam is not hard. Obviously, it's not going to be as hard as GPA, and it's going to be the standard of like or Neko of like the exams you've written before. Just read, use like past questions, use Neko past questions, use jam past questions because it's going to be CBT, and just practice. That's all I'll say about that. Once you get accepted, you have to go through screening. Um, in Unilag, they provided a list of things we need for our screening, like birth certificate, acceptance letter, reference letter, just a bunch of things. I'm sure they'll give you the list too. You just have to be informed. Jupiter consists of three subjects. Basically, depending on your course, I wanted to study law, I'm going to study law. Depending on your course, you'll be asked to pick your subject combination. For me, the three subjects I picked, my subject combinations were um, literature, Islamic studies, and government. And these subjects were each divided into four courses. That means like literature is divided into O1, O2, O3, and O4. Same for the rest of the two courses. In that program, it was divided into two semesters, basically. There was first semester where they would pick two out of the courses and second semester where they would teach you the main two. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, first semester, we were taught literature O1 and O2. Then second semester, we were taught O3 and O4. And a separate lecturer would be assigned to teach each of those courses. In New Lab, we did a total of four different exams for the actual GPEP exams. We did first in course, first semester exam, second in course exam, mock exam, then the final GPEP exam. Now I'm going to be answering the most asked questions about GPEP. Firstly, what exactly is GPEP? GPEP means Joint Universities Preliminary Examination Board. How is GPEP different from other pre-degree? GPEP guarantees you direct entry into 200 level. To gain admission using GPEP, you need to reach the cutoff mark. The cutoff mark generally for you to be able to use your GPEP results is seven points. GPEP is calculated in points. Each course, like literature, government, and Islamic studies, I'm going to use myself as an example. Each course, your entire mark overall is five points. So five for literature, five for government, five for Islamic studies. That's 15. We need 16 points. 16 points is that you can get. They assign one point to everybody. I think for attendance. The cutoff mark for overall for GPEP is 7 points. But then your cutoff mark, depending on the course you want to study, differs. For example, I want to study law. The cutoff mark for law is 15 points. Cutoff mark for math score is 12 points and it varies like that depending on the competition and like how in demand that course is. Duration of the program, the GPEP program for me lasted from September to August this month. Basically 11 months, but I just think of it as one year. So just dedicate one year to this program. Benefits of completion, you get admission in social level. Is GPEP hard? This is like the question people mostly ask because they're like, if you're going to get direct entry into 200 level, then the exam is definitely going to be hard. It is and it isn't. Like, if you read, it is always going to be hard. If you didn't, it's going to be hard, obviously. GPEP was not hard for me. I think I prepared enough. I think I'm actually quite confident that I'll pass, but still pray for me. GPEP was not hard, I would just advise you to really put your mind into it and really just like prepare and work hard. And yeah, I have three advices for you. Read. Like the only way you can ever pass prepare is to read. Two, consider the amount of money that is going through it because GPEP is actually very expensive. And three, remind yourself that you are not an official student yet. That's what the lecturers kept reminding us. You're not in university yet, you're not in students yet. So we shouldn't get carried away. Yeah, that's some exact advice that I'll give to you. So yeah, that's all I have to say according to my script. Also, again, don't talk about my hair. I have absolutely no idea what is going on on my head. But yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel.